Finally, you started Modi Streaming. But now that you facing a problem with chats, either you can't keep up with all the chats at the same time, or you have to actually open up multiple windows just to read chats. But that's a good news. There's a tool that does the heavy lifting for you, which I'm going to show you how to combine chats from TikTok and YouTube, Twitch or Kick or other streaming platform at the same time by using Castle Labs. And it works with OBS. The best part is actually also free to use so that you never miss any message again. Before diving into the process, why do I use Castle Lab instead of other multi-chat software? Firstly, it is easy to set up. The process are very straightforward. Secondly, it supports TikTok stream chat. And thirdly, it can also set up overlay alerts for your streams. I have been using this chat tool to streams on YouTube and TikTok for months and it is working flawlessly. So I would like to share this to you so that it can actually save you tons of time. And by the end of this video, you'll know how to set up Castle Labs and use it in OBS. Besides that, we will discuss some of the pros and cons by using this method. So be sure to watch till the end. And if you found this video is helpful, do not forget to smash that big like button. So without further ado, now let's dive into the first process. So firstly, search up for Castle Lab, go into their web page, download and install the app. So once you have done install, open the app and you'll be able to see something like this. So go to the setting on your left and look for account. So connect the account platform that you stream at. For example, if you're streaming at Twitch, just click connect and just authorize for it. So once you have done this process, you'll be able to see there's a disconnect, which means your streaming account is actually connected. So once you have done connect your account, the next step is to set up the widgets and alerts. So on the left side, you will see widgets and alerts, so just click on it. And if you don't see this, do not worry, just go under that, you're able to see the plus signs. And you're able to see alerts, labels, interaction, goals. There's so much thing that you can actually edit from Castle Labs. But we're gonna just focus on chat for today's topic. So go under interactions and look for a chat. After that, when you see this box here, go under edit. So once you open up this, you're able to see message style, text style, event, and platform. So for the message style, I just focus on the text bottom mark. This means that when your viewers actually type a chat, and it's gonna show from bottom to up, and you can actually choose it from top to bottom, or even sideways. So it's actually up to you. After that is your text style. You can change the font, your font size, your font width, text color, text shadows, label spacing. There's so much more so that you can actually play around with it. But we're gonna just focus on events and platform. The first up is events. Always remember to take this show chat messages once you have done this you can go under the platform and remember that your streaming platform is actually take something like this so when you've done this chat setup the next up is to actually copy this to your obs by using browser source so i'm going to show you how to do it so once you've done your chat setup the next up is you look at this three dot here click on it and you will see copy link so copy the link let me pull up my obs Alright, so from here, you can see these uh, sources here. Under the plus sign, look at it and look for browser. So I'm going to rename it as a multi-chat. Click OK. And paste the source right here. And click OK. So you're able to see this box here. This is your multi-chat box. Which actually, you can actually adjust the size according to your box. Let me, let me make some adjustment here. Alright, so what I'm doing right now is that during your streams, your viewer are able to read the chats from even multiple platforms all at the same time. So that your chat is going to show it right here. Which I'm going to show you some of the example. But if you do not want this method or you do not want your viewers to read the chats from other platforms, the next up is I'm going to show you how to actually read the chat from your own site. And that's the way you can actually do it. So the the first easiest way to actually read your chat while streaming and during all the multi streams, just go to the dashboard on your left. You're able to see this dashboard, just click on it. You're able to see that when your stream is actually online and your chat is connected, you're gonna show it right here. So, all your viewers that are chatting with you, you're gonna show it from right here under the dashboard. So, this is one of the easiest way that you're able to read your multi chat during your streamings. And I'm gonna show you the next way that you can actually read it inside your OBS. So, the next way is to go under the docs on your left and you're able to see view release stream chat and activity fit gonna just focus on stream chat just click on it the link is actually copied so you're gonna paste it into your obs as a custom browser docs let me just pull up my obs right here all right once you have done this look at the docs on the top left and look for a custom browser docs i'm gonna make one more new thing called multi chat and paste this to your browser docs url and click apply and you're able to see the multi chat docs actually appeared so from this way you can actually put it according to where you want in your obs and adjust it so with this method you're able to see your streams your chats and everything just by in one obs window which is actually very very useful so that is how you set up multi chats by using castle lab so inside the app itself it does not only need to do multi chat it 
you can also do your goals your subscription goals your daily subscriber goals follower goals or even can set up the alert all inside the castle app itself which is actually really really useful especially when you're just starting to stream because that you do not need to waste much more extra time just to figure it out how to set up all those alerts all those uh, features your goals your subscriptions all those stuff everything can be just done inside one castle app and it is very easy the process as i said is really really straightforward so for single monitor streamer unfortunately that like, you're unable to actually read the chat while you're actually gaming in full screen but do not worry you're still able to use the ding message when it comes in and also the read out loud message inside castle lab itself but if you do really want to stream as your full-time career my best suggest that is get an extra monitor if you do have an extra budget because previously i stream using one monitor and it makes my life really really inconvenient especially when it comes to obs error i am able to look at it and especially when it comes to chat so as my personal experience you can actually look for a used monitor size do not need to be that big as long that you're able to run all the programs smoothly and actually you're good to go that's all for today's topic if the video actually helped you out do not forget to subscribe to my channel like like right now and comment down below if you do have any other questions if you're actually wondering on how to start multi streaming the easy way you might want to check out my recent video and i'll see you guys at the next one thank you for watching and bye bye